This is the Horse Radio Network. This is episode 373 of Horse Tip Daily, a different horse tip, a different equine topic, a different equestrian expert every day. Horse Tip Daily brings the world of equine knowledge to you one day at a time. Today's tip is sponsored by Equestrian Collections. Visit them at equestriancollections.com. Howdy, everybody. Glenn the Geek back with you from Lexington, Kentucky, and welcome back to Horse Tip Daily. Well, we have back with us today somebody that I have not done a tip with before, yet she's done many tips here on Horse Tip Daily, and that is because she's done them as a co-host of the Dressage Radio Show. But I had the fortune to record a bunch of tips with uh, Mary Lawrenson. She's part of Cadence Farm, and she's a dressage, a young and upcoming dressage rider. She's been actively competing in dressage since the age of 10, and she... Uh, She's done a lot of amazing things in her young career, and she's just exciting and thrilling to talk to, and it was, it was nice to actually get to talk to her in person for a change. So, uh, we're, she, you know, she really does help uh, a lot of the young riders uh, with their horses and to really build that strong partnership and, uh, you know, and it really helps the youth pair prepare for competition. So it was thrilling to be able to talk to Mary in person and do this series of tips that we'll bring to you over the next uh, month or two. And we'll be right back with Mary after we speak about the tremendous sales going on right now at Equestrian Collections. Hey everyone, it's that time of the year again for after holiday closeout sales and Equestrian Collections has hundreds of items for you at tremendous savings up to 70% off. Closeouts from Ariat, JPC, Pessoa, Ovation, and so many more. Highly discounted specials include ladies apparel, footwear, saddle pads, bags, belts, coats, and the list goes on and on. Remember, you can save up to 70% now, but this is a closeout and quantities are limited. So grab the keyboard and type in equestriancollections.com. You'll see the great big ad right on their homepage for all of their closeout specials now for the month of January. Get them while, before they're gone at equestriancollections.com. Well, hi, Mary, and welcome to Horse Tip Daily. Hi, Glenn. Great to be here. It's the first time that you and I actually get to chat while doing tips. <laughs> yeah, I'm usually with Chris, but it's great to be with you for no, a change. I stole you away from her. <laughs> keep you away from not letting you do Chris's tips anymore. You just have to do them over here with me. Oh, too bad. <laughs> and now she's going to hear that and be really mad at me. Yep. Uh, but we thought it would be fun to actually do some tips together, and yeah, you know, I just love what you're doing over there on the Dressage Radio Show, and you get to co-host over there. Well, thank you, and I love doing it, and it's always fun to deliver dressage tips. It's always fun to hear. You're what, 22, 23, somewhere in that range? 21. 21? It's always yep. here to tw- nice to hear a 21-year-old that doesn't say like every other word. Oh, I don't? No. That's nice. <laughs> you say it occasionally, but it's not like every other word. And we've had yeah. people on the shows. We've no, had guests on the shows that have been like that, and it's it's been tough. So, it's like really true. It's hard. Yeah, it, it is like really true. It's <laughs> really like hard to hit, listen to. Um, <laughs> but you are the dressage person, and we like uh, the fact that you do tips with us. But they're not all dressage related. They They really apply to everybody. It's true. Uh, so so that's why we like having you on, and I appreciate you coming on over here to the other side at Horse Tip Daily. <laughs> and, of course, I wanted to mention, too, that we do put all of Mary's tips on anyway. Uh, when she does tips on, on the Dressage Radio Show, we include them here at Horse Tip Daily, and you can see all of her tips by going to Horse Tip Daily and just searching for her name on the left-hand side of the page. And then you go back and listen to all of her previous tips. So what are we going to talk about today? Today we're going to talk about trail riding for the dressage horse, or, or really any horse for that matter. All right. So do you like to trail ride? I love it. Really? I trail ride all the time. Yes, I'm not just a competition dressage freak. I love to be out on the trails, whether it's in the orchard or through the woods. And we're really fortunate to have that right outside our door um, here in Massachusetts, but, um, yeah, it's something I've been doing since I was a little kid and I still do it today. Um, religiously with all the horses I ride. Were you one of those little kids that used to jump on bareback and just go like a bat out of hell? 
Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> well, now you ended up with dressage. How, how, what, 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 uh, why no jumping involved? Well, I, I think I owe that to my mom. Um, she's a dressage trainer and my coach. And so since the very beginning, I was in the dressage arena, um, competing at age nine. Um, and I just, I really, really love the sport, um, and everything that goes into it. And I've never really been tempted to try my hand at any other sport. Wow. Yeah, well, it's been dressage from the beginning. We'll have to talk you into this, though. We've been talking to Darlie Newman of Equitrekking mm -hmm. uh, over there at PBS, and we've been talking to her about trying to get a trip together for both her fans and a Horse Radio Network fans Ooh. to all go to, like, to a dude ranch. And oh, see, now I would love to do that. Wouldn't that be fun? Like, get, like, a yeah. hundred of us with our, our listeners and, and all oh. of us together and all go to a dude ranch for a couple days? Oh, my gosh, that would be a blast. I think yeah, it would. I'm it I'm would give you a chance to get that. your best Western stuff out. Exactly. I'm all for <laughs> trying other sports. I just don't think that I could be as passionate about another one as I am about dressage. I've got the dressage bug, and it's not going away. I don't know. We get you out there to a dude ranch riding Western. <laughs> you might be raining before we know it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, become another Anki von Grunspin, right? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, uh, so, so trail riding. Yes. All right. Well, um, as dressage riders, many of us – get stuck on working inside of the arena and be it an indoor or outdoor the tip of the week is branching outside the sandbox and taking your horse out on the trails um it's i've heard this a number of times uh from very reputable sources including vet veterinarians that um it's been proven that riding horses on different turf aids in building stronger muscles and tendons and also a healthier mind um, so very riding on varying footing strengthens your horse's legs and also keeps them mentally stimulated in a different way than working them on the same footing than in the dressage arena. So there, there again, um, that's something that we're really proud of here at Cadence Farm is that, um, all of our horses are well beha behaved outside of the dressage arena. And I think we really owe it to taking them out and letting them see logs on the ground and big open fields and not being tempted to run away with us when they see those things. Um, so again, I mentioned that we're fortunate to have these trails here, but it's not always necessary because you can take your horses out. If you're network with fellow equestrians in your barn or area and um, plan a day to trailer to a horse-friendly place where you can spend the day having fun with your horses. And I think more what you of, of the two that you mentioned there, physically and mentally, the most important part of that is mentally. Yes. For your horse's benefit. And for yours. I mean, yeah. you, know, you get burnt out doing the same drills over and over and over again, too. So, you know, it's nice to just get out and play, like you just mentioned, like when you were a kid, just to get out and have fun with it. Exactly. And remember what riding's all about. And I think I've had those days where I've gone down to the dressage arena and just been like, oh, gosh. Yeah, I don't want to do I'm this again. I'm not there. <laughs> yeah, I'm just, you know, you, you can tell when you're just not there and when your horse is not there and you need to go out and do something fresh and fun. And what better way than to go out on the trails and to refresh in yourself. And again, you know, you can go out there and have fun, but you can also be working on things too, on, on the focus and even performing dressage movements out in the orchard. I know I'm, I'm known to be doing flying changes up and down the hills in the orchard and, um, doing all sorts of, um, movements there, but it's, it's again, really great for fun. And then also for preparing your horse for getting out of the arena and, um, having them be reliable in the show ring in a different place. Okay. So your place sounds absolutely beautiful. We used to live up in Beverly. Mm -hmm. uh, Massachusetts, which I don't think is too far from where you are. Yeah, not and, too far. And, you know, riding in an orchard and all of that just sounds beautiful. Yeah, it's it's so it's so nice. And again, I, I say that I'm really fortunate to have that because I, I, I don't think I could find it anywhere else. And it's it's great. Except in the winter when you'd really rather be in Florida because exactly. Massachusetts is absolutely miserable. It's so true. Right now, we're just, <laughs> the moment it, it changed to December, it was like the cold wind started whipping through. It's 20 degrees, and that doesn't really make for the most pleasurable trail riding, but it's still um, it can still be fun if you dress warmly. All right, so good. So get out of the ring. Basically, yeah, get is out. The tip, and and have some fun. Don't don't you know? Don't forget to have some fun with your horse. We had a couple of students that were just so obsessed that we had to basically force them to leave the <laughs> ring. And I'm sure you probably have them too. Yeah. And I think that people are also, you know, there's a little bit of, um, they're a little scared to get up 
too, because horses can be unreliable. And if, if you're not exposing your horse to that on a regular basis, then they're more than likely going to be a bit excited about leaving their um, but normal then again, surroundings. You know, when you, just what you referred to earlier, if you don't learn to do that, where are you going to learn to sit a horse when he's acting up? If you, exactly. you know, you learn to do that on the trails, you learn to do that out there. You're going to be better at it in the ring when he does do that. And, and you're not going to end up on your head. You know, exactly. So. And go out with a friend too. You know, it's the other important thing to remember is that go out with someone who's experienced doing it and know that their horse is going to be quiet because you're more, your horse will be happy if they have a um, friend along for the ride. Who's, who, who's a old timer and doesn't mind going out there. There you go. So where can people learn more about you? Well, you can visit my new website, which is my full name, Mary Bonick. That's B-A-H-N-I-U-K, Lauritsen, L-A-U-R-I-T-S-E-N.com. Um, you can also visit our website, Cadence Farm, where you can see um, where everything goes on, where we um, have these beautiful trails. And uh, that's cadencefarminc.com. And I'm also on Twitter and Facebook. You can find me at both of those places. Yeah, she's an excellent tweeter. Um, <laughs> I follow her tweets all the time, so she's an excellent tweeter. All right, thank you, Mary. We appreciate you being on, and it was fun to talk to you in person for a change. Same here, Glenn. Thank you, Mary. Don't forget to tune in every morning at 9 a.m. Eastern for Horses in the Morning. We're having a lot of fun over there on that show. It seems to be coming into its own, and uh, we're developing quite a listening base over there. It's doing very well. So if you haven't listened live, you can listen to the recorded version as well at HorsesInTheMorning.com. Either way, we would love to have you take a listen, Jamie and I and Jennifer. It's been, been a lot of fun doing that show. And, of course, all the shows on the Horse Radio Network can be found at HorseRadioNetwork.com. We'll be back again tomorrow with another new expert and a different horse tip. Until then, stay safe, everyone. The Horse Radio Network and the Horse Radio Network hosts are not responsible for statements of guests or their opinions. Use your own judgment when listening to the tips provided by the experts on Horse Tip Daily. 